Hey everybody, my name is Randy Jones and I'm the owner of Incredible Tiny Homes. And behind me is an RJO 16 foot home. You can go to our website at IncredibleTinyHomes.com. You can see our RJO, our Freedom, our Craftsman, and all the other homes that we've built throughout the years. We've built over 300 homes in the last four years and we'd like to give you a tour of this beautiful home with the maintenance free siding, all the amenities on here, the standard features that come with an RJO, plus the added features that you can add like these homeowners did is the painting on the inside, some AC, and all the things that we can show you. So I hope you enjoy this tour. Come on with me. Let me point a few things out as I walk around. One particular add-on is this is a maintenance-free siding, okay? We call it an LP siding. So it comes with a 50-year warranty on the color. This is a vertical board and batten. So we call this as a board, a batten strip, board, batten strip. And then they've selected to change it up a little bit on the gable ends where they have lap siding. Now this is a maintenance free. This does not come standard on an RJO. On an RJO, it's a wood siding, but you can upgrade to this. You also come with an outside light as a standard feature. This door was a custom door that the homeowners got. It's an outswing. We usually have an inswing, and they've got the mini blinds installed. But then again, it shows how versatile we are that we'll add anything you'd like. Another couple things I want to point out that are not standard but were changed by the homeowner is windows. These are a vinyl window and they bought them painted black. So they selected a colored window on each side. The slider window, like we pointed out on the inside is not a standard feature. They wanted a slider and it's black also. What I like about an RJO or a Freedom Style that we've designed is there are no fenders, okay? The fenders are up underneath the house and that way you don't have that cutout and it's easier to put a skirting around the whole house that would match. So when you want to set this up permanently, you can have just a standard skirting all the way around, very simple and easy to remove and install. Then we walk around the front, another added feature, they had two added features in the front is a tongue box for storage. Also, they put their water heater in here. There's two doors, as you can see, it sets on the tongue. This is an added feature. The sliding window that's painted black is an added feature. And also the mini split, and that's where we mounted it up high. The reason we did that is because the tongue box has taken up the space of the tongue, or normally we would mount it down here. As you can see, it fits pretty well up in that corner. It breathes real well. It's a Mitsubishi top of the line. Now this home also, think about it, it's only eight foot six and it's 13 six tall, it can be transported like an RV. Now the total weight on something like this, you're probably approaching with all the furniture inside is about 6,000 pounds. So we're walking around, I just wanna point the entire perimeter of the house with the board and batten siding, board and batten, just a solid, good home. When we're building these homes, the biggest thing we think about is water. So we want, as you can see, this water comes straight down. There's no wood, you know, there's no trim on the bottom for the water to catch. It just goes straight through. This wood, again, the LP is a rated at a 50 year warranty. The trim is LP siding, and then you've got the black windows that were ordered by the homeowner. Underneath here, you have your slide valve for your, your uh, sewer. And now what we've done is we've changed in our models now, instead of having the utilities on the side like an RV, what we do now is we put the sewer, the water, and the power under the house. So that way, if you park permanently, you can put a skirt around this and you don't see it. You don't see your water. It keeps it from freezing and it keeps you from tripping over your power line. So right here is what we really like is our added feature because most of our customers live in these full time, even though these can be transported like an RV. And if you do, you just have to get underneath the house and hook up your power and your, and your utilities. We always put an exterior plug on the outside and as you can see, they have a designer black cover um, so that's what I like about an RJO. You can tweak this, you can customize it a little bit, and think about it. You're, the basic model is just $20,000. One thing we want to point out is every home that we do at Incredible Tiny Homes has gutters. Now these are custom made gutters. They're two inches wide because of the volume of the roof. There's not enough rain. You need a standard home gutter of a four to five inch gutter. This one's two inches, but we put them on every home. It keeps the water from running down the face of the house into the windows. Also, you have a selection of the color that you want on your home, an array of colors. And we have an online company that you just select the color. So that's another choice you got on any RJO or any home that we build here at Incredible Tiny Homes. I want to point out that the homeowner has put on, this is their Instagram page, the Biddy Bohemian. And I love that it's this personal touch. She had that made just here. Isn't that cool? 
So follow them on Instagram if you can. When you watch this video, click over, watch the video, Bohemian, how they built this house, all the things inside, what they experienced about this, and then their future you know, travels and whatever they do in their life. So follow the Biddy Bohemian, if you will. Well, now we're on the inside of an RJO. Now this is a typical floor plan for an RJO, but it can be mirrored left or right. So this is a right-handed kitchen when you walk in the door and a left-handed bathroom. The countertop is a butcher block countertop. It's, we usually leave about eight feet of countertop. We can have it where this can fold down or it can be stationary. The full length of this is eight feet. You can have, actually you can have it a little longer if you'd like. This is our standard kitchen in an RJO, so no added price. You got drawers, doors. Um, here's a big deep drawer for pots and pans. Of course, this is still more storage under here. This uh, particular home was built here, but the homeowners have been able to come here and they painted their cabinets, painted the walls, painted the house. That doesn't come with the standard RJO, okay? As you see, you've got a, a barn door that separates here. They painted it all. Now, what I like about the doors, okay, they, they had a swing out door. Now, normally on our RJOs, it'll have an interior swing door, right? And that doesn't impede on your kitchen. But because this door swings out, they can't have a screen door. Now on our original RJOs, the door swings in and we put a screen door on every house. Let me see what, now they've actually added wire shelving. We usually put wood shelving, two here, two here, but they've added their own special touch here today. She added her backsplash, that's not standard. But what we like about an RJO, because of her price point, they start at $20,000 they can add all kinds of fun stuff to it. They painted it themselves, they put the shelves up themselves, this right here, and they've had a really good time adding their own personal touch. Let me show you the bathroom. Now in the bathroom, they've selected a compost toilet. This isn't standard with our RJOs, but then again, we have all these amenities you can add. The bathroom is actually 32 inches wide, and we go 82 inches long. So that gives enough room just for the toilet and a 32 inch shower. And I'll step into the shower, show you the, they've customized this with a rain head, shower head, and this is 32 inches. I personally live in a tiny home like this, it's 32 inch shower. I've done fine, the rain head's a little bit tall, we try to raise it up as high as we can. And they've customized this themselves. So the painting, the shower curtains, all that is something the homeowners have done. Now we're in the, in the living room, so in this 16 foot house, we've showed you the kitchen, we showed you the bathroom, and now we're living, going into the living room slash bedroom that can be used multi-purposely. I love how they've got this sofa. Now the homeowners have bought this sofa, it folds out into a full-size bed. Now inside a tiny home, normally you don't have a living room. Now what I love about the RJO is because you've got your kitchen, your bathroom, a fully functional kitchen that can cook full meals. Then you come in here and you've got a full living room that you can relax, you can kick back, you can watch TV, you can read, and there's still more ample room for more fold-up table here. Later on, if they wanna add a fold-up table or just a regular you know, independent table with a couple stools. They actually have the flip-up counter that you can have a stool on here like I showed you earlier. They've selected to have a closet here and they built their own closet. They added this. This is where she's gonna have her clothes and guess where she's putting her man's clothes? Under here. So he that's all he gets is that. But there's storage under the bed that they've gotten and in the footstool of this here. For guests, she come up with this idea of hanging chairs on the wall on each side of the window, which I think is really nice. So there's all kinds of ways and there's still a lot of wall space that's available to put things, to hang things. You can put shelves above here if you have to come out, all right? And we still haven't even gotten to the loft area yet. So with an RJO, what we do, our philosophy is, is something you can grow into. Instead of you're, you're buying it for $20,000, you can come in here and as you get a little bit more money, you can add things and add things. And I think it's what's the trend of tiny homes is you add your own touch to it. And in the same time, you're learning about your house. You're learning how to do maybe a little skill that you've never done before, and you can add it to your house and that's what gives it that warmth feeling. Instead of us doing all your cabinets and us doing all this and raising the price, it lets you do it. I'm gonna show you the loft. Now the loft normally 
is not made to sleep in. We usually, on our basic RJOs, we put a 19 gallon electric water heater and we put it in the loft. The lofts are made for storage because we don't have any egress windows up there. They've chosen to use it for storage and sleep just for a guest who might want to stay. You have a nice wood ladder that can access it. The loft is eight foot long and the vertical at, at the apex is about 43 inches tall. So you can get a bed up there, you can sleep up there, we're just not advocates for that. Some of the added features of this home that doesn't come with your standard RJO is the Mitsubishi Mini Split. If you'd like that, that's an added feature. What's, what comes with the home is a ceiling fan. Now they've chosen to select their own ceiling fan to match their decor, but we provide a ceiling fan. We call these puck lights, as you can see in the ceiling. We provide puck lights over the kitchen, living room, and in the bathroom. Ample plugs, there's usually a, man, a mandatory two plugs in the kitchen on separate circuits. Plugs along the living room, by the sofa, each side of the sofa, and also a switch for your fans separately. We can also put on the back side of the, of the shower a plug high if you want a TV there, and you, you know, so we can add a few things. Um, what's not standard is we don't finish the walls, we don't paint, it comes unfinished. We don't put this kind of flooring down, this is a vinyl snap flooring. But what, we, what it does come with is a one by six yellow pine, three quarter thick wood floor, looks gorgeous. All you need to do is put a polyurethane finish on it. But the house comes unfinished on the inside, unfinished on the outside with wood siding, and, but we caulk it and seal it. That gives you the place to paint it, stain it, whatever you need to do. These are not standard windows, this is a slider window. Now you can request different types of windows. Normally we put in a vertical single hung open window. We usually put a 3040, three foot wide, four foot tall on this side, three foot, four foot on this one, and a 3040 on this one. That's our standard featured windows. But as you can see, they did not choose to have a window on this wall. A lot of people don't do because they maybe want an entertainment center or something to put on the wall. So those little features we can tweak as you go through the design process. So that's it on the inside of an RJO at ITH. I hope you've enjoyed this video of this RJO that's eight and a half foot wide on the outside, 16 foot long, and that's our smallest home we have. And all the features that comes with us, you can find us at IncredibleTinyHomes.com on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're on social media. We come out every day with a live video on all those features, so be glad to tune in, show you what we do, we show you the, how we build them, how we decorate them, everything in between. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour. And again, I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes.